All right, today we're going to be looking at the human homeostasis gizmo. Now, this gizmo is looking at trying to keep our avatar here alive. We're trying to make sure that their body temperature doesn't get too high or too low. So, we have varying degrees of things that we can do here. We have a lot of different sliders. We have changing the exercise level. Little hint on these gizmos, if there's a text box, you can type into it and get whatever values in it that you want without having to do the slider and trying to be uh, so meticulous about it. So we're gonna be looking at the warm up first. The prior knowledge questions, if you don't know what the thermostat is, look right there, it gives you a definition. Thermostat is a device that regulates temperature inside of a building. The warm up is asking us some questions. What is the initial air temperature? Well, here we go, air temp, zero degrees Celsius, 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Make sure that you put a proper label. There's a big difference between zero degrees Celsius and zero degrees Fahrenheit. There's also a big difference between 37 degrees Celsius and 99 degrees Fahrenheit for body temperature. If you say your body temperature is 37 degrees Fahrenheit, you've probably been stored in a freezer someplace. The gizmo warm-up also has some factors there. For instance, if you raise the air temperature, what's gonna happen in the body? Lower, what's gonna happen in the body, and so on. Now we're going to discuss the activities themselves. So the first one is looking at body temperature. Now they ask you to change a lot of different things in here. When you do this, Make sure that you do the body position first and then change exercise and sweat because once you start changing these, you'll see it locks the body position in. So the first thing it says is let it go for an hour. Well, we just let this happen after an hour or as close as we can get to it. And then we make our observations. So what has happened to the body temperature? Has it gone up? Has it gone down? You'll make your notes there. The next part, uh, question two, is gathering data. Again, change it to shivering first, then set the exercise to 70, and the sweat level to 70. We need to add all the clothing, and let's see what happens in one hour. All right, one hour. Note the body temperature, we haven't really changed. And if you look at all these things down here, you can see she's gotten our avatar's gotten tired, they've used water, and they've used up some of their sugar levels. This is giving you an idea of how things change. Activity B, this one is much, much more fun. This is looking at voluntary and involuntary. What you're trying to do is see that it things fluctuate. So what you're trying to do for activity B, and have fun with this one, is you're going to adjust exercise, sweat, and clothing to try to keep the avatar as close to 99 degrees as you possibly can throughout the entire 10-hour segment that it's asking. There's some questions pertaining to it. That's it. Hope you guys have fun, especially with activity B, because it is about you manipulating the surroundings of the avatar, trying to keep them alive. Good luck.